horse tendon and ligament injuries and seven ways to treat them by Medrago. As a horse propels himself toward a jump, he shifts his weight backward, gathers his hind end, and with a smooth propulsive motion extends his hind limbs, releasing amassed energy that launches his half-ton body into the air. This athletic move is a massive coordinated feat, straining the hind tendons during launch and the forelimb tendons and associated ligaments at the landing and that is the way how horse tendon injury can emerge. Superficial Digital Flexor Tendon, SDFT, Injury Tendons are bands of dense connective tissue tying muscle to bone or cartilage. These structures are designed to passively transfer force across joints or provide movement. Researchers have reported SDFT injuries is the most common type of tendon injury, accounted for up to 90% of all injuries. Deep Digital Flexor Tendon Injury, DDFT. This injury arises from three locations in the upper forelimb, the humerus, radius, and ulna. It then courses down the carpal canal and crosses over the navicular bone before inserting at the back of the coffin bone, lying deep beneath the SDFT and just over the suspensory ligament. In the hind limb, the DDFT originates from two areas of the tibia and inserts on the coffin bone. This tendon plays a role in the knee and forefoot flexion, forelimb elbow joint extension, and hock and hind foot flexion and extension. The four most common DDFT lesions are tendon enlargements or changes in shape, focal core lesions, mineralizations, and marginal tears. Suspensory desmitis. A ligament is a band of tough connective tissue joining two bones or cartilages. Suspensory ligaments originate from the back of the fore and hind cannon bones. Its main function is to prevent the fetlock joint from overextending. Veterinarians commonly diagnose proximal suspensory desmitis in performance horses' limbs. Horse tendon injury symptoms. Damage to horse tendon causes inflammation, heat, and swelling. In case of severe damage, the limb becomes very painful and swollen, and the horse may become severely lame. If the tendon is ruptured, the horse may walk with the toe tipped up. The mildest tendon injury recovery can take between 9 to 12 months. Moreover, the older the horse, the longer it will take to heal. Also, be aware that fibers in a repaired tendon are less elastic, therefore prone to strains and tears. Treatments options. 1. Anti-inflammatory drugs. Anti-inflammatory and analgesic drugs are essential for horse tendon injury treatment. Oral, intravenous or intramuscular steroids provide a strong anti-inflammatory effect, and intramuscular polysulfated glycosaminoglycan offers soft tissue anti-inflammatory effects. 2. Physical therapy. Physical therapy should start with 15-minute sessions of knee and fetlock joint flexions within the horse's range of motion. Your veterinarian should then prescribe a controlled exercise regimen based on the injury's ultrasonographic appearance. 3. Surgical correction. In recent years, veterinarians have advocated this method only in acute cases. Tenoscopy is a tool veterinarians can use to debride small tears contributing to persistent lameness. Some vets perform surgical desmotomy of the SDFT accessory ligament to release strain, but it might result in further suspensory ligament injury. Annular ligament desmotomy in cases of tendon lesions within the digital flexor tendon sheath can help relieve pressure. 4. Neuroectomy. Veterinarians can perform a neuroectomy to transect the nerve that innervates the suspensory ligament and alleviate pain. 5. Platelet, rich plasma. In a typical healing environment, platelets are the first responders to the scene and are the first to produce a call to action from inflammatory and tissue-forming cells. 6. Scaffold-based therapy. Scaffold-based therapy creates a mini-ecosystem in a wound along with growth factors and all the signals involved in the healing process. 7. Stem cell therapy. Stem cells are undifferentiated cells in the body. That means they can give rise to many different cell types with different functions. Stem cells appear to improve healing by increasing collagen production and improving the organization of the collagen fibers. Thereby, allowing the tendon to be more normal in a structure at the end of the rehabilitation program. Researchers have shown that national hunt racehorses treated with stem cell therapy had an 80% return to performance rate as compared to the typical 30% with conventional techniques. To learn more about stem cell therapy options reach out to Medrago team.